Okay, today we are off to Geelong Harley Davidson because my bike is almost finished and we're gonna give it a dyno run to see how much horsepower we can get out of it. Yeah, baby! This is what it's about. The El Diablo is nearly complete. Love it or hate it, it is my bike. And um, it's not quite finished, but we are, the motor's all done. So we're gonna see um, Stiffy, it's the dyno man. And um, I think the boys have done an amazing job. So anyway, let's go to Geelong Harley. Yeah. Ugh. This place is like my second home. G'day. Hey Danny, how are you? Oh, yeah. Tom, fuck off. Get off, don't touch me, you fucking. I hate it when you hug me from the back. I've told you, you can only do it from the front. How exciting is today? <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. The late Danny Hayes. You gotta deal with Stiffy, he's in a bad mood. Is he? Go, mate. What's going on? You okay for a video? Yeah, yeah, bro. What's the day today? Uh, Friday? No, but what else are we doing? Oh, we're making lots of noise on your motorcycle. We're gonna dyno it, aren't we? Yeah, bro. And we're thinking, what, 200 horsepower? Oh, that's a bit fucking, uh, what's the word, modest? I'm thinking 400 newton pounds of torque. Beautiful. I reckon you're gonna get it quite comfortably. We're going for 400 newton pounds of, 400 pounds of torque. <laughs> newton pounds. Here it is. Okay, I just want to say it's not finished, so we're changing a few things. Um, these are going. Don't like these. We're changing the headlights still. These things are getting custom painted, so there's still a bit to do on the bike, but today we're dyno it. We're going to dyno it. We're going to find out what horsepower we can get. In regards to the build, we're getting rid of the pegs. We don't like them, we've gone, we won't say what we've got, but we're yep. changing the pegs and yep. the rear pegs. Yes. Um, we're changing the headlight. I've got a headlight there, I just gotta make sure it fits. Okay. Um, Cause I'd really love a different headlight in it. Cause yeah, I think it look- We might have to make a bracket up. I mean, it's not designed to fit that model, but it doesn't mean it's not gonna fit. We fit yep. lots of things that's not supposed to go on the model, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, did you, did you, have you had a haircut? Mm, um, my wife actually just trimmed it this morning. Oh yeah, cool. Um, and what else are we gonna do? Wasn't yeah, new one? grips. Oh, new grips. Yeah. So, so, so we don't like the grips, we don't like the foot pegs, and we're gonna hopefully change the, the headlight. How do we know if the headlight will fit? Well, I just gotta pull it apart and make sure I can make a bracket that'll suit, because the lowrider STs are mounted slightly differently inside the fairing. Yep. Uh, so they're not designed to fit in that normal five and three quarter headlight shell, so we'll just make sure we can make a bracket for it. It's gonna look hot if you can do it. It'll look, I think it'll look a lot better. It'll neaten it up. Um, and you're very talented at doing this stuff? Wow. I'm very talented at telling people to do this stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit like my job. I'm the same. I'm talented at telling people what to do. Well, who, who will do it? Uh, Col that's Colin's department. Oh. He, he makes all the brackets, and he's, he? he's sort of got his little engin engineering room that he'll play around with. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dine it with Stiffy. He, he thinks he can get close to 200 horsepower. 400 pounds of torque. Yeah, I heard they're using the gigawatt scale now. So, gigawatts. Yeah. What's that? I'm pretty sure it's gonna make a thousand gigawatts. Okay, cool. All right, it's good. We're all on the same page. This is your area of expertise. Fuck off. This is your area of expertise. Fuck off. This is your area of expertise. Fuck off. <laughs> that's, that's the I attitude. I hate those fucking things. You you're just you're telling me about after monkey pants, you're going to change your attitude. Well, I didn't do it yet. I'm working on it. Okay. I told you that I was a work in progress, that I was trying to understand your idiosyncrasies, but I'm not there yet, Danny. So this black headlight here, see it? You just ignored me anyway. See that black headlight? I see the black headlight, yes. Yeah. So apparently that can go inside the El Diablo, but it needs a bracket to be made. And Webby said that's your area of expertise because we think a black headlight tied in with the, the fairing and all the black would look really good. Get rid of the white one. How do you feel about that? OK. 
Okay, I'll try and adopt my new attitude. Wow, that'd be fantastic, Danny. Wow, wouldn't that bike look good with that done to it? It'd be a whole new bike. Wow, that would be wonderful. <laughs> God, I look forward to helping you on your journey to total customization. Oh, whoever thought of changing the color of a headlight? Wow, you're amazing, Danny. You really... <laughs> oh, I love the new Colin. At ease, Sergeant. <laughs> hey, um, Webby said it can be done. See this black headlight? Yeah. That black height, black headlight can be pulled out. Can, can, come, can I just show you something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Colin has to make a bracket for it. But I think, would you, you engineer? would you agree with all the black highlights? Like, you know, you've got obviously this screen, the screen, this, and imagine the black do you understand what I'm saying? I get what you're getting on, yeah. That will look good, huh? Do you think? Yeah, it'll yeah. look tough. Apparently it can be done, yeah? Just well, if it can be done, yeah. Anything can be done. Okay, we're going to dyno the bike with Stiffy now. I'm going to call Stiffy the new sergeant of arms because I've never <laughs> seen anybody with so many badges, mate. Yeah, well. You must feel very important. Oh, I am very important, Danny. It's not just a feeling thing. All right. So. So let's talk. What, we're, so we're talking dyno jet? And yeah, we'll, most talk, of the we'll world, talk dino jet, not to confuse everyone. Most of the world talks dino jet? Yeah. So stock, what does this thing put out? About 100 horsepower. About, about 100. Horsepower, around there, yeah. Around 100, 105. Okay, all right, let's do it. Should I shut the door? Okay, this is it. Let's see what... Listen to the beast for the first time. Can I give it a rev? Yeah, give it a rev. Talk numbers with Stiffy. Um, hundred is the benchmark. You're going to get the graph, are you? Yeah, you're the hey, we got pretty close to 400 horsepower. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, awesome. We didn't even use that nitrous you brought in. All right, all right. So here's your. This is essentially before and after. That red line there is a standard 117 soft tail. The blue line's near yours. Yep. Um, so you can see. So there's two sets of lines. Yep. So that top line here, this is your torque line. Yep. And then this is your horsepower line, obviously it's representative of both there. Okay. So you can see you've got about, you know, from the bottom, what's that? Probably fucking 2000 RPM on, you got solid, you know, 15, 16 foot pound gains, 
all the way through until here, which is probably about 3700, where you can see just the changing the cam out in it and allowing it to pull through to the top end, unlike the stock cam, which you can see straight away gets there and just dives, yep. where this starts making its peak torque through there, which is where you're getting your real big gains. The 117s come out from factory so good, you know, it's, it's hard to get heaps out of them. Yep. So what horsepower in dyno jet, well, what have we ended up with? So that's about 127 horsepower in dyno jet and so, about 140 foot pound of torque. So 127 horsepower in dyno jet and 140 foot, foot pound, pound of torque, torque which is going to feel pretty quick on a light bike. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, it's compared to a big bagger. Yeah. Take the bags off this. So this thing should motor. Oh yeah, it definitely will. And yeah. it's got a real nice broad torque curve, as you can see, like right off the bottom, it's just pulling hard and it's pulling hard all the way till, you know, you're really starting to feel the drop at 4,700 RPM. So it's like, you know, yeah. you got heaps of power there everywhere. Yeah. So could you wind this off the clock fairly quickly? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. <laughs> I mean, I would never break the law or anything, but it's just good to know that if you need an emergency situation, if you're in Mexico being chased by the cartel. Yeah, and you need to overtake that semi. Yeah, yeah. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you need the power, yeah. Well, this, well, how bad is it? You're caught in a semi's blind spot. You want mm. to have the power to just get past that. Oh, yeah. You never, you never sit in a semi's blind spot, do you? Oh, yeah. So you need power. All right. That's what I tell myself anyway. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Mate, you're a legend. Thank you. All good. Awesome. So, mate, Webby, uh, you, Webby and Stiffy done a great job. 127 horsepower, 140 pounds of torque. Show me. Um, that uh, sounds a... A little bit like it's got some Denny Hayes tax on it. No, that's they're, they're Stiffy's words. Do you understand those lines? No, I just they just look good. Shit, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. So the bike's pretty much done. The only thing left to do is for you to try and mount that headlight, and we're just changing the foot pegs around, and that's it. What's wrong with the foot pegs? I've got new ones. Have you? Yeah, because we, we no, no one liked them. I don't like them either. Well, it doesn't matter what others think. Yeah, no, I like the, um, and the handle grips are changing. Handle grips? Yeah, the, what are they called? Hand controls. Okay. See, this is the new me. This is me being supportive of this non-genuine Harley Davidson product that you people will insist on fitting to your motorcycles against our advice. These are actually genuine, mate. Are they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be happy to fit those in, Jenny. That'd be good. Yeah. So that, that's it, then the bike's done. All right. And then we'll do a reveal. Oh, we'll, what about for Shannon? Not Shannon's much got to reveal, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, Shannon's got the painted custom parts. He's going to drop them in here. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll cover the bike up. And uh, I'm not going to video it anymore because we're going to change a few things on it. And then we'll do a big reveal. Sound good? The uh, customer's uh, the, happy. This is probably where you expect me to get really supportive and yeah. encouraging. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that'll be good, Danny. <laughs> We're going to put a cover on it. Wow, a cover. I like covers. Fucking, you're a weirdo. <laughs> well, I'm an excited customer, Colin. Yep, that's good. It's not every day you customise a Harley. Yes, it is. Every fucking yeah, day. You, day you, you do, I don't. So you're looking at the headlight to put in. How do you feeling about it? You've got, remember that new attitude you've got? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it'll be wonderful. Yeah, the, the, easy? the end result will be well worth the fucking Thank you. 10 hours of fucking labour. Yeah. Looks like this whole fairing has to come off. Yeah, just... Just what? Get the apprentice to take it off. <laughs> right, I'll get him to put it back on too. Right, I'll sort it for you, Danny. Legend, legend, legend. And then we're going to have a reveal. So we're not going to show the bike again. Yeah, that'd be good. So some painted parts have got to go on. New headlight, new pegs, because we don't like the ones that are on it. New hand grips, don't like these ones. The no, nah, don't like them. Right, okay. No, I don't know. Yep. No, totally supportive, Danny. They're shit. Hey? They're shit. Yep. <clears throat> Was it just the colour? Because I got. Spray can. No, I don't like this. Do you want the heat shield to put on it? I don't like this. I think we're going to go this colour black, with the which will look better. Hey, the, the exhaust colour's changed. I'm just going to start it up for the first time by myself. I've never ridden such a big bike before. I'm a bit scared. That's what you get for riding a pan head. Now you know how fucking tough the old blokes are. Is that a tea cozy you got on your head? Yes, it is. It's called Style Colin. 
Okay, I'm leaving Geelong Harley. Um, see you later, boys. See you later, right. see you guys. So the next time I come back here, the bike will be totally finished. It'll be detailed, have new headlight, and we're going to do a reveal what it finally looks like. There's a few extras that you don't know about, so very exciting. One more vlog to go. So the numbers were 127 horsepower, roughly 140 pounds of torque. Um, this is much lighter than your standard bag out. This is going to be a quick little bike, and um, this is, as I've said, the Lowrider ST, in my opinion, um, and I've ridden a lot of different new model Harleys, is, is the best bang for buck. It's a Tura, it handles great, and the best thing about it is the suspension setup is awesome. Anyway, we're done for now.